On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. Because that was very heavy. <laughs> but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Sap. Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make me feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something smarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyways, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even going to offer to take me this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Nikki? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Give it. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Wham! Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun to get to be small and also better than other people. <laughs> but, jeez, never mind. Why are you making me say? What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because you're not at school. We're getting started or what? There's lots of stuff I gotta teach you. Ahaha. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you are, you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature, sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Yeah. Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki... Forget it! I didn't say anything! I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that, anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? Ma'am, let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when the girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Nikki. <laughs> Natsuki smiles deviously. <laughs> Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Look at it. It's just a mess. <laughs> it's like immaculate. <laughs> Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. 
Don't you hate it when you have to clean up your kitchen and you're like, God, there's so much fucking spilled fluid. Just so much spilled fluid. It's everywhere. Where is this spilled fluid coming from? <laughs> the mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movement movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Nikki, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making an ex each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, oh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into small bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah. Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you're completely finished mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh. The icing is still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It just... It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you have to do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctant reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next time. Nope, there's no time in that. You I'd next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross. You got it on my face. Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Nah. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish. I'm faster. <laughs> I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Stop. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. Again, this is super... Again. Nobody could see these windows, but it's just funny to imagine that this is, again, somebody walking by like, nope, not, whatever, don't know what's going on <laughs> in there. Away from there. Uh, it's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know, saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing, Bound trip or where? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you seriously just uh? 
Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Nikki, do you really shouldn't do that guy's thing to girls unless you really like them? You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? <laughs> how did the mood turn to this so quickly? Because I put your freaking <laughs> finger on my mouth, that's how. I... Natsuki gaze, gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Yeah. Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in there, dummy. How could you make a mistake like this? You should have checked before turning the oven on. That was me. Oh. You should have checked before turning the oven on. Well, you should have checked before turning the <laughs> oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on the top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm, I'm putting me in, in, in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Yeah, Suki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. And this one we can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use stripes or patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature-themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh. Hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... Natsuki's voice trails uh, off. Uh, same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, nothing. Just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as I can... Well, anyway, I was hoping we'd have enough time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. 
You should have thought about that. It's not like you've always had this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? And if you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Haha. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. <laughs> 